Well, we're back again. Um, yeah. I don't really remember how this game works, but I've been wanting a reason to come back to it. This is still sort of a let's try, because I don't plan on promoting this to let's play. This is just me trying to, um... This is me just wanting to play long enough to find out about what those weird, the weird little slime farm is about. We have that 5% stress, so we're still okay there. There's also a little witch flying off in the background. Let's see if I still remember how this game works. Probably not, it's been ages. But yeah, I have so little free time because all of a sudden... Chill, commoner. I hope the heroes make use of this place. Got a good feeling about this potion. He's, um, going to annoy us, and he's going to gain a shield. Do you accept food stamps? Screw you. <coughs> Scheme. Draw three cards. So there's no need for brace yourself. Yeah, the nine interest will get us to four hearts. That's good enough. Things are looking up. Come back soon. Step right up. I just stubbed my toe. How much is this one? Probably more than I want to spend. Oh boy, I don't like the look of that. Apply interest by four. And then raise interest by eight. I'll go for end the turn. It's asking too much for it to look re present. Oh boy. Double stress received. And he's going to complain to us. Set it up. And then close it out. We could brace ourselves and technically we that would work, but I don't feel like we're going We'd have to We'd have to draw, close it out, or scheme, and even then I just don't think we have enough time left in on our hands. Return, not just click anywhere. Yeah, let's just close it out. Maybe it's not so bad. Well, alright then. Thank you for your business! That's all of them for now. But yeah, I know that there's a little slime farm feature and I really want to get to that. I could get the hang of all this. Oh, what's the big idea? You can't set up shop here. Sure I can. I live here. I'm invoking squatters' rights because I've got dibs. I've been kicking back in this trash heap for weeks now. You didn't clear up that weird looking mildew in the corner, did you? I'll save that for later. 
I think there's been some kind of mistake. My name's Sylvia. I just inherited this place. Uh, just make sure you know it. Just when you're sure you know a condemned building when you see it. Oh. <laughs> uh, you're a homeless person that was living here. Maybe your revival isn't all bad news. You're obviously some kind of potion witch. You look like you've gotten maybe three minutes of sleep for a week. But also you've got that weird sneer, so... I hope that you're a good person. As it happens, I've got a semi-legitimate business selling all sorts of magical ingredients. You know, like the kind of stuff you'd use to make potions. She kicks some business my way. Sure. I'm definitely going to need ingredients before long. When it's time to buy, you'll think of me. Quinn. I call that move planting the seed. Feel free to use it in your own hustle. Raise interest of by <coughs> eight. That's ooh. You know, I think I will use that. Okay, it is eight, but on the flip side, we have to go for a certain number of turns for it to really start paying off. So yeah. Where can I find your shop? It's hard to miss. Just go outside and look up. So you can actually romance these people, but for now I think I'm just looking forward to do business. Once I'm up and running I'll need ingredients pretty regularly. I guess I'll see you around then, unless that weird mildew gets you first. This could actually work. So we had eight customers, seven potion. Did we fail a potion sale in our first run of this? It must have been the, uh, it must have been the Detta Witch. So we need a, we need a health potion, a fire tonic, and a mana potion, so we need to have a three star of each. And it's on day ten, thankfully we have a bit more time than seven. What was that hint about building relationship? I didn't get to see it. Need to go back to an old save? Check out your daily auto saves. Oh yeah, that would be very handy, wouldn't it? Because if we don't make it, then we're in debt forever. Just gotta take this one day at a time. Oh wow, is this an actual potions shop? I could have sworn it was all boarded up just the other day. And now, potions. Yeah, pardon the mess. I'm working to get the place up and running. Well, I'm impressed. You sure know what you're doing. That's... Really kind of you? The truth is I'm new to town and new to running a shop. I'm sort of figuring it all out as I go. Really? I'm here and you here too. My name's Mint. I just got to town a few days ago. I'm Sylvia, resident potions witch. And by resident I mean I literally live here. It's seriously good to meet you, Sylvia. Now I have to ask, does Foster the Formidable ever shop here? Or Dox the Defenestrator? Defenestration means kicking people through windows. That would be a huge honour. But I'm not sure I'd recognise them. You didn't have posters of them in your bedroom when you were little? I guess that was just me. I might be a bit of a fangirl. You know something kicking out pretty much non-substance I got here? I mean, this island has a lot of historical significance for the Heroes Guild. This is where they defeated Maven, the Witch Queen of Rafter. Of course, the fallout from that battle left the island uninhabitable for a while. But the whole place is rebuilding now, and that includes the local chapter of the guild. They've put out a call for new recruits. You've definitely got the muscles to be a hero. Ever thought about joining? 
Aw, thanks. I do work out. <laughs> Subtle. As a matter of fact, joining up is exactly why I came to Rafter. I answered the call. Hey, that's great. Congratulations on the new gig. Thanks, but I'm only a provisional member for now. Think about me running odd jobs for the XP. Oh, that's slang for experience. Any day now, I'll be ready for proper adventures outside of town. After all, there's a whole island out there teeming with mystery and danger. With potion ingredients, of course. Swing by the guild hall if you're ever looking for loot. I could help you out for a small fee. Sounds promising. Thanks for the tip. No sweat, Sylvia. I know we just met, but I'm already rooting for you. That's going to work in your favor, I bet. Evoke sympathy in your customers and they'll be more likely to cut you some slack. Ooh, sympathy. Gain to shield. Apply sympathy for one turn. Increase all interest gained by 25%. So this would be good to swap out for one of those shields, wouldn't it? I'm definitely keeping that in mind. Then I have a feeling you're going to do great. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got some fetch quests to go tackle. You wouldn't believe how many are. You wouldn't believe how often people in this town misplace family heirlooms. It's what's for dinner and dessert. Celebrity chef Drevin has come down in favor of an all meat diet, leading to a surplus of unsold fruits and veggies. So flesh will cost more, fruit and plant will cost less. And there's a, oh, following an outbreak of glitter cough, a contaminated batch of mana potions has been recalled, casting suspicion on the product. Decrease the value of mana potions? Do we ha even have anything else to sell? So we're out of ingredients. Can't make any more potions. Might as well check out Quinn's shop, right? Oh, there's always the Hero's Guild. So it takes one time slot to go to somewhere or other. So yeah, um, remove one, brace yourself, add one, sympathy. Two, shield, whereas sympathy gives only... Yeah, this gives us two, shield, but also that, so... We can't have any more sympathy, though. I like the bounce of uh, Sylvia here. Quinn's Ingredients Boutique or Mint the Budding Hero. I think we need to give Mint some time before she can properly start fencing loot for us, so... What's up? <laughs> oh yeah, we just casually hang out on broomsticks to chit chat. Watch your fingers. That one's fresh, I'm pretty sure. You lick it, you buy it. So we could have 20, 30, 70, so that's 120. That one's fresh, I'm pretty sure. Honestly, let's just go and all in and buy everything. Score. 
better than nothing. Ah, solitude. <laughs> Very casual for being for being so high in the air. Exceptionally casual. I bet she sells meat. Hi Sylvia, so glad you decided to drop in on me. What do you think of the guild hall? Isn't it amazing? There's a lot more taxidermy than I expected. Yeah, heroes love their trophies. Maybe I'll be contributing one soon. Because get this, I've been improved to go adventuring. The training wheels are coming off. You should send me out sometime. I promise I'll bring back some great loot for you. How does that work exactly? I can tell you all about it. I just had my orientation and I took detailed notes in my dedicated color-coded adventuring binder. Ugh. So I've been playing a lot of Limbus Company and I've decided that my favorite character is Don Quixote, who is based on the character from the book. Somewhat. Only somewhat, but there's this one scene where she has, where she's taking W Core orientation, and she actually has her own binder of color coded notes. I get the feeling she'd get along great with Mint. Sounds complicated. Nah, I'm just a nerd for this stuff. It's actually a pretty simple system. Start by choosing which area you want me to explore. The farther I get into that area, the more loot I'll bring back. Providing me with potions is totally optional, but the right potion could help me get farther or help me find better spoils. Every potion has its uses, but health potions and mana potions are by far the most important. Health potions help me withstand damage, mana potions power my attacks, uh, my attacks allowing me to fight my way past monsters. However, there's a limit to how many potions I can drink at a time. All that magic can really mess up a person's stomach. Oh. Don't forget there's a fee every time you send me out. Those are set by the guild. That's about it. Consider me on call. Honestly, I can't get out there soon enough. I know you'll do amazing. I hope so. This is what I've been training for, after all. Oh, they also gave us a goodie bag of health and mana potions for new recruits. Let's use them on my first adventure. Thank goodness, we don't have any left. We ran out of ingredients. Health and mana. Health potions to patch me up, mana potions to get me to the finish line. Let's use them both. This is... I think this does sound a bit like Reketeer, or Reseteer. But rather than becoming an action game, it's still sticking to the deck building qualities. Man, hey, thanks for the support, Sylvia. Means a lot. Whenever you dragon, drop a potion, you can double click it as well. What's new? Let's plan my next adventure! Well, you've only got one place you can go, after all. Say the word and I'll head out! So, 10... Right. Here we go, it tells us what we have to do. If the hero has less health than the monster's damage output, the hero won't be able to continue. Use health potions to review them. So we get 2 and 3, that makes for 5 damage. 2 and 3 makes it 10 damage. She can't survive that, so she needs a health potion. That gives her 15. Your hero cannot bring back more than the loot capacity amount and will prioritize items by value. Less health than the monster's damage output, so we did actually need two health potions. But we don't need three, so we just give her mana potions to finish it off, I guess.
Yeah, this looks about right. See how well the hero thinks they will do on the adventure. Gonna dominate out there. So she gets to keep everything. Good choice. I'm on it. And then we just head back home, I guess. I feel like this would get exceptionally overwhelming after a while. Welcome back. You'll probably want to get to brewing soon, yes? Check your potion shop book for all possibilities. Remember, offering a variety of services over there while your potions brew, never consider dropping in on new acquaintances. Travelling takes time, so plan accordingly. Anyway, I think you can take it from here. Remember, adapt and overcome. Oh, and take an early rest if you need it, otherwise you might get too stressed out and function. Well, we aren't stressed, so yeah, let's brew. Some shelves will provide unique sales bonuses to potions arranged. Ooh, superb, but it's not superb enough to be contest worthy. As you decide what potions to, you're going to make, refer to your recipe book. Throwing items in the cauldron and see what comes out is well and good. Planning things can give you the edge when reacting to the market. So right, the thing that we established is that... We don't want to do anything, have anything to do with mana potions, so... Empowers your hero to overcome poison hazards. Keep your eye on the prize for an adventure effect. Reduce damage done by fire. Potions gain two additional stars on completion with a chance of gaining a bonus star. Oh, we can't fit anything else in, can we? And we don't have anything to act as fuel. This repurposed grain barrel suits your needs, but just barely. I guess we can get. Ooh, maybe this means that we can get new. Po we can get new cauldrons later. Anyway, I just got a message on Tumblr, and I don't feel like anything else interesting is going to happen, so... Hmm. It would feel slightly cheeky to try and sell them... To try and sell the things that we got from the Adventurers Guild for sponsorship, but... I'd know. I did want to get to the little... I think it's up here, this little greenhouse up here. I think we're eventually going to get a bunch of slimes that live here? I was hoping to get to that, but clearly we didn't get that option.
reduce 10, reduce stress by 10, plus an additional 10 for each skipped time slot. So, hmm. Anyhow, until next time, guys, take care. I'll see you all around.